The Bhagavad Gita, or simply the Gita, is a 700-verse Hindu scripture that is part of the epic Mahabharata. It's a conversation between the Prince Arjuna and the god Krishna, who serves as his charioteer. This dialogue, set in the midst of the battlefield of Kurukshetra, just before a major war, tackles complex philosophical, ethical, and spiritual themes. The vast plains of Kurukshetra are brimming with soldiers. Two groups, the Pandavas and the Kauravas, are ready for war. While the Kauravas are led by Duryodhana, the Pandavas are represented by their valiant prince, Arjuna. As conch shells blow and drums resonate, signaling the start of the battle, Arjuna instructs his charioteer, Lord Krishna, to place their chariot in the middle of the two armies so he can observe both sides. However, Seeing his relatives, beloved teachers, and friends on both sides, Arjuna is struck by moral confusion and emotional turmoil. The weight of the impending massacre of kin, the collapse of his clan, and the destruction of Dharma bear heavily upon him. Distraught, he casts aside his bow and arrows and turns to Krishna for guidance. The Gita unfolds as a dialogue in which Krishna offers spiritual wisdom to the troubled Arjuna in the form of a series of teachings. The first of these is the Dharma and Svadharma, or one's own duty. In it, Krishna admonishes Arjuna that it is his Dharma or duty as a warrior to fight. He speaks of Svadharma, one's own duty, emphasizing that it is better to fail in one's own duty than to succeed in the duty of another. Next is Sankhya Yoga, or Yoga of Knowledge, where Krishna introduces the idea that the body is temporary, while the soul, or Atman, is immortal and eternal. Birth and death are mere transitions for the soul. Hence, Arjuna shouldn't be distressed about destroying the body, as the true self remains unaffected. In Karma Yoga, or Yoga of Action, it is inevitable to act. One can't avoid it by merely refraining from it of great importance is performing one's duty without attachment to the outcomes. You have the right to perform your prescribed duties, but you are not entitled to the fruits of your actions, Krishna advises. Krishna also speaks of the path of devotion in Bhakti Yoga, or Yoga of Devotion, where one surrenders to the Divine and acts out of sheer love and devotion. This yoga is about building a personal relationship with the Divine. Janana Yoga, or Yoga of Wisdom, involves understanding the nature of reality. Krishna explains that true wisdom is recognizing the eternal, unchanging reality amidst the transient, changing world. This eternal truth is Brahman, the cosmic spirit, and understanding this leads to liberation. Krishna underscores the importance of meditation as a means to spiritual realization in the yoga of meditation. By meditating on the divine form, one can understand the truth behind the eternal and the ephemeral. Furthermore, Krishna describes his divine manifestations in the world in the Vibhuti Yoga, or Yoga of Divine Glorious, every being and phenomenon, where exceptional power or beauty is displayed as a sign of his divine presence. To clear Arjuna's doubts, Krishna reveals his cosmic form, which is infinite, multi-faced, and dazzling, encompassing the entire universe and beyond. Arjuna, witnessing this divine spectacle, realizes the vastness and magnificence of the divine play. Finally, Krishna touches upon the theme of detachment in the Sannyasa Yoga, or Yoga of Renunciation. In this teaching, he admonishes that one should not renounce the world, but should engage with it in a detached manner, doing one's duty, but without getting entangled in the worldly web. Having received this wisdom, Arjuna's confusion dissipates. He recognizes his duty and the larger scheme of things. With newfound clarity and determination, he picks up his bow, ready to engage in the battle of Kurukshetra. The Gita's teachings aren't just for Arjuna or for warriors. They address the complex moral dilemmas and challenges faced by all human beings. The Gita teaches about the nature of life, 
the concept of duty, the paths to spiritual realization, and how to navigate the tumultuous waters of life with wisdom, righteousness, and equanimity. In essence, the Bhagavad Gita serves as a spiritual guide leading one toward a life of righteousness, purpose, and true understanding.